Welcome to Electron Online, and here we're going to try and graph something a little bit different. Now we're going to graph the tangent of 4x. In order to do that, we have to, of course, realize that this is the what we call the period factor, and the bigger that number, the more the, the function will be squished together. So this will be reduced in width by one-fourth its normal width. In order to be able to graph the tangent of 4x, we should know what the tangent of x looks like. So let's graph that one first. So y equals the tangent of x, and the way that one looks is as follows. So we have the y-axis here, we have the x-axis here, and at plus one-half pi and at minus one-half pi, pi over two, those will be what we call the limiting or asymptotic lines. And we know that the function falls between pi over two and minus pi over two. Oop, two can disappear here. And so we can see that the tangent will come like this and go down like this. So that's what the normal function looks like and then it repeats forever. If we then add another uh, pi over here to 3 pi over 2, then we have another asymptote and then we have another function that looks like this and then it continues on like this and so forth and we have the same over here. You can see that the tangent just simply repeats like that in intervals of uh, about pi, uh, intervals of pi going from minus pi over 2 to pi, plus pi over 2 and so forth. So the distance between them or the period for the function is always equal to pi. All right, so now what happens when we have the tangent of 4 pi or 4 x I should say, it reduces the period down to one fourth its normal. So what that then looks like, so again here we have our y axis, we have our x axis, and so it reduces it down to, instead of going from minus pi over 2 to, minus, to plus pi over 2, we reduce that by a factor of 4, so this will now be pi 8 to minus pi over 8. And then we have the asymptote lines over here, and one over here, and again the tangent function will look exactly the same, except a lot skinnier, so to speak, goes right to the origin and here, and then it repeats again. Now notice that the period in this case, instead of being pi, it's now going to be pi over four. So the next period here will be pi over four. So we go from pi eight, add pi over four to that, that would be five pi over eight. So let's go over here. So I have another asymptote right there. And this will be five pi over eight. And then we have another function, another part of the function like that. And then we move over another pi over four and draw another asymptotic line. So now we're at 9 pi over 8, and now we have another part of the function like that. And continue on like that in both directions. And so here we have y equals the tangent of 4x. It looks exactly the same as the tangent of x, except the period is only one-fourth as wide, and you can see that everything is squished together a lot more than it was over there. And that's how we do that.